Oh hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create the cookies in the blender with the help of the texture so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you want to download these texture which is i have used uh, in this tutorial so you can download from the uh, textureheaven.com and uh, freetexture.com as well both sides you will get the same texture okay if you want so you can download from there but I'm not going to provide the link because there is some problem so now let's start a tutorial so here you can see guys uh, this is the uh, project file basically and and here you can see I did just simple setup okay and if I will turn my viewport shading mode so here you can see so now I'm just going to show you how I create this basically so first of all I'm just going to select everything and delete it because right now we don't need anything and then I will just uh, add one cylinder here and after that first of all I'm gonna change the uh, vertices to 8 yeah that's fine and after that I will just gonna scale it something like that okay and it's depend up to you how much thickness you need your uh, cookies but uh, okay so I think that much thickness is fine to me and now I'm just going to apply the scale and after that I will just go to the edit mode and select the top face and going to extrude it and then I will just scale it something like this yeah I think that's fine if you want to move little bit up so you can do little bit upside and same thing I will do the bottom side as well I will just do uh, extrude and you can do insert as well and something like that and you can just little bit downside not too much yeah so I think that's fine okay then after that I'm just going to select the that uh, bottom edge then I will just do the right click and from here I will uh, do the mark seam because uh, before adding the texture you have to uh, unwrap this object so that's why I'm going to uh, add the seam on it okay and after that I will select everything press the 3 and then I will go to the my UV editing section and from here I will just press the U then I will click the unwrap so here you can see we have a perfect unwrap here okay so now it's time to add the uh, some texture on it so for that I will switch my shading panel first of all then after that I will add new node from the here and here you can see now we have one principal BSDF so first of all I will just call my all texture here you can see uh, I have a uh, all texture here. Here you can see this is the base texture. This it's called diffuse as well, and this is a normal texture, and this is the roughness. Okay, now I'm just going to call those texture in this uh, model. So how we can do this? So for that I'm just going to select my principal BSDF shader. Then I will just do Control Shift T. Okay, so now I have to just uh, select my all texture. I'm just going to select it something like that, and then I will do okay so here you can see it will automatically plug the node uh, with the uh, texture so here you can see it's uh, plug the roughness to roughness and uh, normal to normal and it's automatically add the this normal map as well but right now we don't need this one basically that mapping node we don't need it so I'm just going to delete it and then after that I'm just going to uh, the UV editing section from here and now I'm just going to attach my texture okay and then I'm just going to uh, match my texture with the uh, this texture okay so for that I'm just going to move this to uh, here okay and now I'm just going to scale it so here you can see it's perfectly applying here okay okay and after that I will select the same that bottom part and then I will do control L and then I will just uh, to scale it move it and keep it here so it's looking fine so now I'm just going to add the uh, subdivision modifier on it because we need some smoothness because right now it's looking so much edgy okay so for that you can uh, add from the hair as well and there is a one shortcut it's called control 2 yeah so now it's looking fine okay and after that I will add uh, one more node it's called displays so when you add the display it will look like this so first of all you have to click on the new and from here you have to just uh, tweak the little bit uh, strength so from here you have to see 
where it's going to fit so I think 0 0.02 uh, it's fine I think yeah it's looking fine okay and uh, so one more thing we have to done before going to duplicate uh, this cookies so you have to go to the again this uh, shading panel and from here you have to add one more node that's called uh, mix shader okay sorry mix RGV and so after that you have to just keep it uh, here and then you have to just plug this one to the subsurface color okay and from here you have to just plug to the color to color and then you have to just change the color little bit brownie yeah I think that's look fine okay now we are done with the detection part okay so now I will just do duplicate this cookies so for that I will use the array modifier first of all and then I will change the factor value to Z axis to 1 okay so now you can decrease the value yeah it's looking fine okay then I'm just going to duplicate uh, at least 10 time yeah that's look fine okay so here you can see that stack is look like a uh, same like a uh, first one okay that texture is repeating continuously and that is not looking a uh, and that is not giving a uh, natural feel okay so we need to uh, rotate those uh, cookies to uh, randomly so for that you have to just apply the array and after that you have to just uh, go to the edit mode of this cookies and then select everything pressing the A and then you have to press the P and from here you have to just uh, click on the by loose part so it will automatically become a single object something like that and now you can select all of those and then you have to just go to the object transformation and from here you will see the randomized transform so you have to just click on the here so I did before that's why it's uh, set uh, look like this so now I'm just going to keep it first of all by default 0 0 so now I, I can give you the better example yeah okay so first of all we have to rotate this uh, cookies to randomize so we need to rotate uh, we need to uh, increase the z value so something like that so here you can see when I'm going to increase the value it's going to uh, rotate randomizely yeah something like that okay and after that we need to just uh, move it uh, x uh, location as well so for that we have to just change this one to here something like that you can choose any kind of location so I think Y is fine to me right now yeah that's look fine you can use little bit uh, X as well so it will look create a randomized stack and I think that's look fine to me it will work to me yeah okay and then you have to just go to the front mode and you can just go to the left view and from here you have to just set the camera so first of all you have to add the camera on your scene because we have deleted before starting the tutorial so I'm just going to add the camera and then I will do alt control 0 so it will create a camera view then I'm just going to move this camera view something like that okay and after that I'm just going to duplicate this cookie pressing the shift D and then I'm just going to rotate it something like that and now I'm just going to add the one plane here for the background okay and just uh, add the and then I will make a one uh, floor then I will just do bevel yeah so it's create a floor don't forget to add the shade smooth okay and after that I will do one more time duplicate and right now I'm just going to duplicate this part to here and okay and you can just do duplicate this one and keep it here as well so here you can see our setup is done okay I just need to keep it here by the way so our basic setup is ready and then we'll just switch the rendering mode so first of all I'm just going to add the light 
into this scene because we can't see anything because there is no light in our scene and then I'm just going to increase the power 250 I think now ah, that's fine so I'm just going to scale this background first of all yeah I think that's fine okay so first of all we'll change the color this to the yellow okay yeah that's fine okay then we have to add the light in our scene so I'm just going to duplicate this one to the y x axis and make sure you enable the uh, viewport denoising because it's work very nicely in uh, blender 2.90 okay I think our lighting is done and everything is done so now I'm just going to take a render and when you take the render it will look something like that and that's look fab okay guys and after that I did some color correction and this is the final result basically so that's how you can create a cookies in the blender with the help of the texture and this is a very simple setup which is I have shown you here and that this is a very basic modeling there is no nothing to do much okay you have to just play with the uh, textures and uh, if you if you want more acceleration in your uh, cookies so you can change the uh, that normal map value and if you uh, if you're not getting uh, the better result from here so you can change the that displace value also so you will see some uh, more exertion in your uh, cookies but 20 is fine to me because I did many time and I found a uh, 20 is better result uh, 20 is giving a better result to me that's why I did so here you can see this is the 20 and I have changed the one uh, one value in the middle of this cookies so here you can see it looking more exaggerated to the others okay so I did from the displace uh, modifier section so you can use it and uh, you can add much 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 uh, displacement and exaggeration but it depends on the requirements it should be look like a cookies okay okay guys so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys